everybody. How's it going? All right. So I'm out here at uh, Duralong. I, I was looking at one spot on the map and I, I got to it. I didn't really like it at all. I thought it was a terrible place. <laughs> it just, it looks good on Google Maps. Not so good when you actually get to it. So I'm here at this beautiful spot. So I'm gonna be trying to uh, work this maybe. I've got like a bit of a larger canvas here uh, or a panel, but I'm gonna try and drop a little scene draw up some sort of composition and sort of see how I'm feeling with the location. friends here looking to see if I got some food or something <laughs> but um I, I kind of like this initial sketch here I, I, I like this sort of composition with the houses over here and the trees and then the field here and then the little mountain range at the back here there was this one here but I'm pretty set with this one like honestly that doesn't happen too often but that one's pretty much the way to go basic general sketch that I've done here just sort of trans translate it back up on top onto the actual panel itself sketch this in sort of work down on this work backwards on it I mean so I'm kind of I'm trying to generally follow this the gist of this drawing I'm also kind of just allowing myself to just sort of go with it, you know what I mean? That's what I keep forgetting actually. I keep forgetting to, um, <laughs> I keep forgetting to bring out sunscreen. <laughs> so I'm burning up and I have no sunscreen. So I want the houses to be over there. In that corner here, about here ish. Want these houses there, I want these trees. I want this tree. I want this tree actually over here. Get a smaller brush, sort of scumble in that sketch a bit more refined. And there's a uh, clump of trees there, sort of empty pasture there. Pretty happy with that. Put that sketch down. <laughs> I don't know it doesn't look like much, but it's sort of translating to me, so that's what Matt is here. Alright, gonna gonna start mixing in some of these colours for the uh, that back sort of mountain there. I'm gonna pick up a lot of blue. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll do the sky in real quick. A little bit of 
Thalo in there with the uh, ultramarine blue. Gonna need a lot more of that. that ultramarine in there. Try and wash into the sky. Bring you up here. All right. My box is a little bit broken at the moment, so probably getting a lot of that rattling noise in there. But um, that's because the side where which holds my box is all but busted up. So that kind of sucks. But it's just going to take a couple of screws to fix that up. Just going to hold that back while I uh, throw down some of this this sky here. Some wispy sort of clouds through there a little bit. Let me get some of that. Some of that in there too. Just want to get this sky sort of covered here because there's not a whole lot happening, but but the there's a couple of these like wispy sort of clouds through here. I want to kind of kind of want to dart through here. Can you see that? I don't know if that's coming up too well. Actually, I'll put you over here. How's that? How's the glare? What's that looking like? That's looking pretty good. All right, so you can kind of see what I'm doing there. There's a couple of these wispy sort of clouds coming through over there. I'm gonna get a little bit more blue through the top here. You see what I mean? <laughs> the um, the panel is kind of bouncing around because one of the um, things that is su supposed to support it at the back there, the screws kind of come off of it and um, it's just not tightening back up. So, so I've got to fix that, but I'll fix that sooner. 
rather than later, but not before I finish this painting, then that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, cool. So, like that, bring you back down here. Let's try and mix up some of that back sort of um, back mountain sort of colors there. So there's a lot of blue, a lot of hazy green in this back sort of trees area. I'll show you a shot of it. Hopefully I've got a shot of it. I'll show you a shot of it while I'm mixing this. But there's a lot of this hazy green in the background there. Real hazy. Um, along with some of this lighter blue. Plenty of flies here, that's for sure. Hopefully the bounciness of this this box doesn't distract you too much. Get a little bit of that favor in there. Wispy sort of darks, the blue sort of wispy darks. So add a lot more ultramarine into this black mix to make it a look a little bit more of a cooler black. And um, got to lighten it up a little bit. quite a bit actually I'll put a bit of this titanium white through that and now I might put actually put a bit of um, phthalo into this to really blew it up. Great. So that's a real nice sort of atmospheric blue for the shadows there. I'm liking that. Hopefully you can kind of tell that that's a blue. <laughs> Might try and zoom in on that maybe. How's that looking? That's all right. There we go. Okay, so, and then we do have a little bit more lighter shade of this wispiness. It's still very light. Okay, so that's what I'm going to kind of roll with for my background colors. As it gets closer, actually, there's some more bluey darks, but these ones won't have any titanium in them. Just going to key it a bit more blue. So I've still got plenty of sunlight. work with all right let's put that down let's um, pick up this uh, round brush here and let's um, start working these mountains at the back here like I said last time I'm gonna start with a lot of these shadows so there's a lot of these blue sort of shadows through here in this sort of section here. So I'm gonna start by throwing them through here. Now I might actually wanna lighten this up even more. 
So I might throw a little bit more titanium white through the mix. Into this blue. All right. Because this is a bit of a bigger panel, I'm working a bit more loosely and a bit more uh, quickly because I can sort of put my whole elbow and shoulder into the brushwork and the strokes of things. And because I'm trying to get that sense of immediacy back into my painting, I feel like, you know, I'm always thinking about, always judging my... Um, my previous works, my plein air works, my, you know, stuff of that nature. And uh, thinking, okay, what could I do better? What could I do better? Okay, what, what's better? What's lacking? What am I missing? What aren't I hitting? What's not, what, what am I not liking about it? You know, what am I liking about it? So I'm constantly asking myself these questions in my head uh, after I, like, complete uh, paintings and finish up works and start new ones and constantly thinking about okay what did I like what didn't I like how can I make it better and so those are some questions that are just constantly going through my mind all right gonna move over to some green now they're just constantly going through my mind while I um while I paint these uh scenes I'm always thinking okay well you know how could I do it better what what would make it better actually i'm going to add a bit more white to these greens a little bit more blue to them too and a little bit more cad yellow to them how's that looking yeah that's better so i'm constantly just sort of asking myself these things in between paintings, in between sessions, constantly sort of trying to work out what it is that I like about my paintings and then, you know, what it is that I want to talk about in these paintings. And when I, when I say what it is I want to talk about, it's not necessarily, oh, this says something about something explicitly. I, it's more along the lines of like, how do I want to translate what I'm, what I'm seeing in front of me in the moment to people that aren't going to be there? You know, the people are seeing this secondhand. They're seeing this from me. What do I want them to take away from this scene? You know? What, what is it about this scene that drew me to even paint it in the first place? Things like that, you know, that's what I'm always trying to think of. It's like, what, what, because at the end of the day, you know, we don't really make paintings for ourselves. Although, you know, there are paintings that we make that nobody sees, but, you know, the end goal for any artist is to make paintings for people to view and enjoy and experience and, love and be immersed in, you 
know, I mean, I, I suppose, you know, you could just make paintings for yourself, you know. But like, it's that, it's that give and take, you know what I mean? I'm not saying, you know, please the masses. But I am saying like, you know, tell a story, tell a great story. Tell something that people can really put themselves into. Tell something that people can really feel like they're involved with, you know? When they look at it, what is it what does it make them feel? What do you want what do you want them to make them feel, you know? These are some things I've just been asking myself lately when I uh, complete paintings and when I finish off things and start new things and start new paintings. Like I said, I feel like I'm kind of repeating myself here, but yeah, that's what I've been thinking about lately. Man, this is quite a fucking busy road for it being out here so far. I had to travel like 40 minutes to get to this spot, but it seems like everybody fucking lives out in this, in this spot. Just sort of reworking some of these darks. I'm not necessarily unhappy with them, but I'm not necessarily happy with them. I just, I think they could be better, so that's why I'm trying to work, rework them. Hopefully you can you can see that. Um, I, I'm I'm going to continually check and recheck my uh, camera and make sure you know you can actually see what I'm what I'm painting. But um, I am also trying to get a painting finished. <laughs> so a little bit of give and take. This is beautiful looking. Looks like somebody's got like a little fire or something going. Like they're doing some back burning. So I'm gonna try and maybe try and put something like that in. Where is it? So coming through here. I don't know if that's gonna translate well. If it doesn't, then whatever. But I'm just gonna try and put in that sort of fire, that back burning happening up there. And it's such a nice, beautiful afternoon here. I feel very lucky and fortunate to live where I live because, like, the beach is right there, and then, and then this country is right here too. You know, if if only like a little bit further of a drive, it doesn't bother me too much. Trying to get this sense of this hillside here. Actually. Actually, it's a little bit, it starts to get a little bit brighter through here, so I might try and lighten that up here. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a lot nicer there.
hopefully these people uh, don't really mind me painting up their um, <laughs> their land. I've never had any problems, honestly, when um, painting people's properties and stuff, because I'm never on them. I like, look, I'm outside the boundary right now. I'm like at their fence, really painting inwards. You know, I'd love for somebody to come up and say, "Hey, I love, love that painting. Did you want to come? Did you want to come in?" You know, I'd love that. I'd be like, "Oh fuck yeah!" Now I can really like sort out some sort of real nice composition, which isn't bound to the um, confinements of of their fencing. <laughs> That'd be sick. I'm very keen on that. If anybody has any sort of land and would like a painter to sort of roam roam free on it for couple of hours uh hit me up because i would love that very much i think that'd be sweet um yeah i'd be stoked with that if anybody's if anybody's got some land there that they are uh, happy to have me on for a little bit <laughs> so there's gonna be a tree here this uh coming down it's a bit of... so remember what I said last video about when things get closer they get more saturated so that's what I'm doing here these hills there that are sloping through here they're a little bit more saturated so capture them like that they're not that saturated but <laughs> pull them into saturation which pulls them closer it really does okay that's looking real nice I'm stepping back I'm stepping backwards and forwards to it trying to work out you know what I like about it what I don't like about it um, okay so now we're getting closer, closer, closer to this real dark spot here, which I'm going to try and just shuffle in because it's come to, down to this tree line where it meets a um, more of their sort of cleared property for the horses and shit. So I'm going to try and put some of that in. So this is where it gets real dark. Um, I'm trying. Don't, don't over, don't overdo the detail with something that this far that this that is this far away. There is some more here, which actually I might make the darkest and actually lighten up this one here. Yeah, there we go. I'll lighten this one up a little bit because there is still a little bit more of a uh, darker area here, which is closer again. Um, this tree, I'm gonna sort of scumble in. I want it to look so I know some boundaries for it. Yeah, okay, so that's, okay, that's where I'm going to take the tree. Alright, I am starting to feel a bit of a burn when it comes to this area here. Because, uh, <sighs> god damn, I wish I brought sunscreen. <laughs> Don't mind me if I'm not making any sense. I'm just, I'm in, I'm in three minds at the moment. One is this painting. Two is observation. Three is talking. So three is kind of the uh, back burner at the moment. <laughs> um, I don't want to make it too saturated. So let's sort of 
bring in some of these. There's quite a bit of tree line through here too. So I'm gonna put that in there. Yeah, that's okay. That's all right. There's a whole section of trees here, which are a lot closer. So I'm just going to cut them off. It's about there, it say. Um, and then this tree has a bit of a shadow, which comes through there. And then we've got this sort of dip through here. And then another dip through there. And another one through here and um, there we go. I used to never sort of approach complicated scenes like this because I never really knew how to sort of break it down to the point where I could understand it. But now I've kind of understood it better by doing more practice with it. There's no real trick about that. You know, you just got to practice it. Uh, so I can't really help you there if you're looking for <laughs> something to something to just be able to just, oh, that's the key. Let's do it. Um, so there's not that, unfortunately. Sorry about that. But um, it just sort of came through lots and lots of practice, honestly, of these particular scenes. And sort of understanding that, you know, if I whittle down everything into these sort of um, simple shapes and blocks and You know, then I can sort of translate things better. So by just breaking everything down into these simple shapes, simple forms, I'm honestly able to just, with one brush, be able to sort of bring it to life. At least that's what I think I'm doing. <laughs> you know. Um. There's still a lot of these. Still a lot of movement up here. But then there's also that. That bit of. That smoke through there. I want to try and capture that. If I can. I'm not too sure if I'm doing a good job of capturing that smoke. But that's smoke there. So <laughs> I'm going to just dot that in. And just say that it is that 
and hopefully it looks like that. <laughs> that's a, you know, you gotta not be so, that's kind of what, where I got, I got it wrong in the beginning. I like, when I just couldn't get something, I was like frustrated with it. I was like, oh, damn it, son of a bitch, I can't get this, can't get this fucking color right. I can't get this uh, shape right, you know. I, you know, I just couldn't, I just couldn't uh, express what it is that I'm actually seeing into the shapes that I want them to be, and um, it just didn't look right, and I, it would always make me so mad, and then, you know, but like, after this, like, 20 millionth time of going out painting, uh, you sort of just get to this groove where you're like, you know, whatever, I'm having fun with it. That's all that matters. And it sounds very cliche to say that, but it's true, you know, and we just forget it. We do. We just forget that this is just fun, you know. This is fun. This is something to enjoy, you know. It's, you know, I, I do it professionally, <laughs> and, you know, and I'm telling you to enjoy it, to have fun. It's true, and that's what we forget a lot of the time. Okay, so I'm liking that as is. <sighs> Stepping away from it. You know, set far back from it and uh, try and see how that's looking. See what I mean? You can see that shapes of everything. It's looking nice. Okay, I'm going to get a bit more saturated now. Well, quite a lot more saturated now. And uh, start to put things into place. Actually, let me fill in some of these. Let me just fill in some of these darks through here. Then I can move on. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm happy with that. Um, Oh, actually. Okay, let's move on. Uh, let's bring you back down to the palette. I don't want to get rid of these pastel -y greens just yet or this pastel -y dark just yet either because I might need it for something so I'm just gonna leave it on my palette there same with this I'm gonna just leave that up there I'm not sure what I'd use it for yet but that's not the point the point is just to have the colors that I'm painting with be there ready to go. Wipe back your palette because you don't want to mix in too much of that color from before because we're making it a lot more saturated now. Um, okay, let's start, let's start this sort of meadow back there. Now I want a little bit of cad red to sort of uh, tone down that saturation of that green. Now this, this meadow back here, up there, I'll show you that in a sec, is still at the back there, a little bit, a little bit away. A uh, little bit of phthalo actually to pop that. Uh, maybe not, maybe I shouldn't have used some phthalo. Oop, chipping away at my palette there, whoops. <laughs> um, how's that looking? A lot more actually cad yellow. Sort of brighten that up. Uh, yeah, that's looking a lot more like it now. I want more of this titanium white. I'm just going to put that to the side here and just sort of mix it through it until I find that green. How's that looking? Yeah, that's looking good. That's looking pretty nice, actually. That's looking kind of like it. Mm. 
Yeah, that's kind of looking like it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, now these trees in these dark areas, I want, I'll bring, let's mix some more brown dark. So not that much brown, but a little bit more than what we have been using. Fantastic. I might actually fill up that titanium white. Got all those colors mixed up. I got like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine ish colors. You see, I, I sort of always go for that nine sort of range, but uh, these are all going to be sort of mid ground and then foreground sort of colors, and I'll mix in between to mix up some more if they're not working. But yeah, this is the general gist of them. I had a feeling that uh, somebody might be coming to pick up those hay bales down there. <laughs> Alright, let's um, actually I'll bring the camera over here because I'm going to work, I'm going to work over here, I'm going to work this section a little bit. There's a couple of uh, sort of brown sort of treetops here, but for the most part pretty well dark in there except for maybe for a few lights which I might try and dash in or something hopefully my ear isn't going to be completely seared off from the sunburn when I get back home hopefully I have some sort of remnants of an ear <laughs> my bad for um not taking into consideration my ear and the uh, sun by not bringing sunscreen. Alright, so there's this sort of darker area here. Um, it's not going to be that much. I'm going to I'm going to cut it off a little bit when I get to it. Um, Yeah, okay, so there's a bit more through here. I'm going to just completely go for it here and just completely make that real dark and then I'm going to try and work into it. How's that? Because I don't really know how I'm going to translate this, but if I just slowly work into it, surely something will come out of it. Isn't that the gist? Isn't that how it, how it works? <laughs> I'm not sure how it works per se, but I'm going to say this is how it works. If I just put it down, 
the uh, painting will make itself. <laughs> if I just pull back in there, make that bit softer through there. Not so much background through here. Gonna add in some more lighter tones through here over top of this. It's hard when I say things that are closer and more saturated when you've got a duller color in some of the treetops there. But just try and just work that color, try and find that color, you know, and then it'll sort of like it'll come forth really. The best way to describe it, I think, it will come forth How about that over the top there. Yeah, um, okay, so there's a little bit of this green through there, that there, I'm gonna put that in there. Then there's some of these like uh, paintbrush. There are a couple of tree trunks down in here, which I'll try and put in, put in through here. And there is a little bit of a hint of green light coming through some of these cracks of this tree back here. So I'm going to try and put that in a little bit. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that looks good. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, actually. Now I'm looking back at it. Um, yeah, so that actually just follows through the whole way there. Let me just put that up. And uh, that tree sort of line comes through there again. You can kind of see some of that back paddock through these trees. So that's what I'm trying to put through here. through there there's a sense of it there's a um, little structure thing here so I'm trying to put that in whatever the fuck that is <laughs> alright so then the tree top here comes through gonna put a big long white tree through there yeah that kind of that kind of works <laughs> now for this tree here this gum tree so I'm trying to put down the, uh, the trunk of it it's always kind of hard painting up these trees on plain air I find at least try and put down this trunk and um, just let it go up into the top there actually
sort of scumble in some of these lines for this trunk here. Um, okay, so let me try and get some of these darker greens that are through this, through this trunk, and we'll work it like that, because I'm not, I'm really not the greatest when it comes to painting up trees. This tree has a lot of movement to it, where it's kind of going this way. So I'm going to try and follow that, and hopefully that's going to work itself out. <laughs> Let me just put you back over here a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna try and add in these highlights now. Hopefully this is a good way to depict the tree. If it looks nothing like a tree, I'm very sorry. <laughs> trying to step back from it and look at it and work out things around it. It's kind of looking like it, kind of. <laughs> oh well, it's all fun. It's all it is, it's all fun.
Let's hope nobody stops to ask me what the fuck that is. <laughs> Two trunks there. Okay, that's looking alright. It's not looking too bad at all. It's um, I might try and add some more vibrant sort of greens through it a little bit, maybe I don't know. <laughs> There's a little dog. <laughs> round and round the uh, cows there. It's looking cute as. Just run them into a corner. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get some of this. I'm trying to work this so that. A little bit more form to this tree. It's very hard to do. This back paddock here kind of has. Now I need to lighten that up actually, add some more white to that green in this area here I think.
a lot of shadow coming off this tree now. Try and put some of that in. tree there, another little tree here. And then the uh, then the homestead's kind of like uh, this bluish whitish sort of dark area. Try and scumble that in a little bit here. Hey fellas.
All right, so I haven't been talking too much while I paint this up. I just want to try and get this, get this down, get this done. Really, is what I've been focusing on. I realize I don't really like a lot of the shadows and where I've done the gum tree there, um, but oh, it's whatever. It's whatever. Just trying to get it all done, dusted, and head on out. Really, is what I'm trying to do right now. Because I'm tired of getting burnt by the sun right now, so that fatigue has kind of worn me down, and I'm ready to I'm ready to fuck off. <laughs> A bit of a road thing here. And in there, and in there. So, just trying to outline a couple of those things in there, in here. It doesn't really look much like what's actually happening over there. But I'm just trying to get the gist of it. somebody's pulling over to have a chat maybe I don't know kind of looks like they are kind of looks like they're not kind of looks like they're a little bit wary of me actually maybe they're looking at the hay bowers up there but um, I'm just gonna keep on doing my thing and if they uh, approach me then I'll say hello <laughs> No, nope, looks like they're moving on. Okay, so I'm getting now right into this foreground stage. There were a bunch of cows there. Uh, I might try and sort of scumble in what these cows look like and then I'll try and paint around them. There's a couple that are eating.
All right, I'm trying, I'll try and work these and I'll, and I'll come back in. All right, so I've put in a couple of those cows down there. I'm picking up my uh, flat brush here. And I'm going to work the foreground with the flat brush. And sort of work it up bit by bit. So I've got a lot of, I've got a very light green now that I really like the look of when I place it next to all these other greens. Um, it's a very pop sort of green. Really works well for the foreground. Might throw in a little bit in that back, that mid ground there. Yeah, that's interesting. Actually, you might get a little bit darker with, over here, there's some, and then come back on the top there. A lot of that shadow for the tree there has been slowly popping through. I'm just going to scumble some of that in, and then we'll, uh, work some of that green over the top of it. Yeah? How you going? I won't run over ya. <laughs> good day, mate. How's it going? Yeah, good. You liking it so far? Yeah. yeah it's alright, it's alright. Not too bad. <laughs> That's our little house. Yeah, yeah, you guys live at that property there? Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful spot you've got. Yeah, you doing a good job. I can't imagine you ever have a uh, day that you look around and feel sad. No, <laughs> Can I take a photo? Of course, please, please. More than welcome. I'll move back. Just had a, that car there that's driving off in the distance, pull up. They're actually the owners of this little house there. It's a, such a beautiful spot. So it was nice to chat with them and meet them. Usually you don't get to meet the people that own the properties, but that was heaps nice. <laughs> Trying to get in some of these bits of grass through here where the cows are standing and
All right, there we go. That's the uh, that's the finished product there. Pretty happy with it. You know, I might come in and uh, touch up quite a lot of it actually when I uh, get home and when I let it dry out for maybe a couple of days. See how it's speaking to me and might touch up quite a few of the cows there at the front, some of the trees, some of the uh, fences and stuff of that nature and maybe some things in the background. I might add some more detail or might take away a few things. But overall, really happy with the way it's turned out. I think it's quite a beautiful scene for what we we're uh, what we're left here with, with the sunlight just dipping over the top of that mountain there. It's such a beautiful spot. All right, so that'll do it for today. I uh, hope everybody enjoyed this video and uh, like, subscribe, leave a, what you thought in the comments below and I'll check them out then. Till then, see you in the next video.